This is an interesting run for you personally. Uh, the next four games are in buildings that you haven't played before, including this one in Chicago, which is a pretty special place. They're a great team. You guys are looking for a little bit of redemption, but I don't know if you've talked to your teammates about what it's like to play there, but you're probably looking forward to it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm definitely excited. It's uh, definitely a special building. Um, you know, the guys, uh, you know, say that it's, it's probably the, the coolest building to play in during, you know, especially during that anthem, you know, when they're they're going crazy and all that. So uh, the atmosphere should be electric. Um, so I'm excited about that. I know you have an appreciation for the other players in the league. When you're going up against a team that's got Patrick Kane and Jonathan Tays and Duncan Keith and Brent Seabrook, does that, you know, give you a little bit more internal drive or make you more aware? Look, we're playing against a team that can. You know, they can get you too, so you got to be aware at all times. Yeah, it, uh, you get excited about it. I mean, anytime you, you're playing against a team that, that's you know almost dominated um, you know, a generation, they've, they've been so good for, for so long that um, you know you want to you want to give them your best, and, and um, you know it's something to look forward to. So um, you know, I'm excited about tonight. When players talk about you know teams they wish their team could become, is Chicago one of those teams? Oh, I, th I think that's pretty easy in saying, yeah, I mean, um, they've, they've done nothing but win. And um, you know, I think we can learn a lot from, from a team like this. Um, you know, so, uh, Jordan Everly got some offensive uh, momentum going. Just a thought on, you know, it's a little bit different look having, uh, you know, Jordan there instead of Leon. It's been a couple of games. How do you think it's gone? Yeah, it's it's been good. We've been getting balanced scoring, which is what I think we were looking for, and um, you know, we've we found a way to create some offense. Um, you know, but with uh, you know going a little bit dry there before the break and a little bit after. So um, you know, it's good to be able to create some offense and, and get rewarded for it. Chicago draft choice Alex DeBrinket is currently leading the OHL in scoring. Is this a surprise to you at all? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, he's done it for three years now, so um, you know he's. Uh, going to be a, a real uh, real beauty for them uh, in Chicago and um, you know, just because he's small I think uh, people people tend to kind of shy away from him but um, you know, he's done nothing but score and produce in the OHL level and um, I think uh, he should be a good pro. Longest trip of the year for you guys I guess it's a it's a good challenge one that uh, if you guys do well and it can kind of set up the rest of your season this is a good stretch yeah, for them. Yeah for sure um, you know, we're, we're on on the road for the rest of February and um, you know, that, that takes us into the the home stretch basically, so um, you know, set ourselves up uh, you know, well heading into March uh, if we have a good roadie here. You had a sense that this team has kind of settled back into where it was maybe before the All-Star break. You had a lot of commotion after that and now you're kind of back to the team that you are. I, I, I think so, yeah. Um, you know, those few days of practice definitely did us a lot of good just to, to kind of skate the, the cobwebs out and, and get all the rest out from you know, having a week off. So. Um, you know, that, those practice days did us a lot good, like I said, and um, you know, we've been rewarded with two big wins and um, you know, look to continue down the road.